All right, today on Home on the Hitch, we're going to talk about Passport America and whether or not it's right for you. So stick around, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, welcome back. So real quick before we start, please hit the uh, subscribe button. If you have not subscribed, uh, give us a thumbs up, hit that like button, uh, hit the notification bell and share this video as much as you can. It really helps our channel. Thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. Uh, all right, here we go. So what we use is Passport America. Uh, it is a 50% camping club, basically, that allows you to stay a certain number of nights at the participating parks uh, for basically a discounted rate of 50%. Uh, each park has some rules uh, that are, as far as when you can use it, that could be a month, that could be a day. Uh, some parks let you use it unrestricted. Some parks say that you can only use it Sunday through Thursday. Uh, maybe two nights or a full week. Some of the northern parks, you can stay like 14 days uh, with Passport American discount. So there's a lot of things to look at when you're planning your trip with it, but they have a lot of literature and plenty of materials to help you out. So we really, really save a whole lot of money. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna switch to the computer screen and I'm gonna bring it up and show you what we're looking at. So hang tight, here we go. All right, guys, so let's just take a real quick look here at the website. Um, the good thing about Passport America is there's not that much to it. It's pretty much, it's pretty cut and dry. Uh, you can go through the website and uh, look at all the sections when you've got time. What we want to talk about basically is the cost and, and how it operates. So uh, the basic uh, one-year membership is $44 a year, um, and, and in my opinion, well worth it. Uh, we're not sponsored, but uh, we're just users, so I, th I think it is uh, uh, very, very worth that much money. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go up here to the campground tabs. There's one way that you can kind of look and, and search out some campgrounds. All right, so we're going to go, uh, let's see, this trip coming up, we've got, you know, we're going to be going up here to Maine, so. All right, so we're going to go to Maine, and it's going to pop up the parks that, um, are in Maine that are in the Passport America network. Uh, we can either zoom in on that map and and focus on it by area of the state, or we can go down through here and look at each one um, by name, and it has the city over here uh, where they're at. So uh, the one that we are going to happen to stay at is, uh, while we're up there, is gonna be the Pumpkin Patch RV Resort. So we'll open that up. When you choose a park, um, what you're gonna get is this page right here, and this is gonna tell you uh, what their normal rate is and what the Passport America rate is, and it's gonna be 50% of whatever the normal rate is. So, uh, Over on the left side, you're gonna find the address, telephone numbers, website, emails, and GPS coordinates. <coughs> Scroll down, uh, we're gonna see uh, some pictures if they're available. Um, and below that, you're going to see the amenities that the park has. You can click on the website link there, and that's going to take us over to the actual Pumpkin Patch RV Resort uh, website. So, and that you can kind of scroll through and see what's what about it. Uh, and it looks like a really pretty park, and I'm pretty excited to go here. Anybody that's ever been here, let me know. Um, if anybody sees this that's been to the Pumpkin Patch RV Resort, let us know how it is, because it looks great. We're pretty excited. Leave us a comment. We're gonna close that website. We decided, hey, we're gonna, we like this part. So we'll scroll on down. So we have, below the amenities, you have the highlights uh, where the park is gonna advertise itself, basically tell you about the park. Uh, what kind of RVs they can take, how many sites there are, do they have full hookups, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the part that you really want to pay attention to in regards to Passport America is the section below that, the important campground notes. This is where you're going to pay attention and you're going to see how you can use your Passport America membership at that park. Remember at the beginning, I said those are, that's the thing that's going to differ from park to park, and it's different at every park, and every park sets it up the way they want to. 
All right, so for this park, reservations are highly recommended. It's open May the 1st through October the 15th. Passport America is valid for five consecutive nights during May, June, September, October. And no Passport America in July or August or holiday weekends. So that means valid for five consecutive nights. And as long as it's not a holiday weekend, you can um, use it on weekends in July or August or holidays. So we're staying five nights and we're going to be paying half the price. So that's a pretty good deal. So that's going to be $22 for five nights instead of $44 for five nights. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal, and that's why we like Passport America, because we try to plan our trips. If we have a trip going to an area like we're going to Maine, uh, we like to look and see if there's a park that has uh, availability, that has rules that will allow us to uh, stay for a few nights and use our Passport America and save some money. Maybe we can stay three nights at a park with Passport America, um, but we want to stay four. Well, you say that fourth night is at full price, but you still saved money on the three. So, all right, let's go back again and we'll check out another park somewhere uh, and show you kind of the difference. Um, let's see. Let's look at, uh, say we'll look at Pennsylvania. <coughs> so it's going to open up the map. It's going to drop down all these Pennsylvania parks. So let's just scroll down here. I don't know anything about these. Um, so let's see, let's pick, we'll pick Snyder's Family Campground in Gaines, Pennsylvania. Oh, actually, let's look at Round Top. Round Top Campground. Open that up, you're going to get the same page. Uh, so they have a price range. I guess it's probably dependent upon the, the time of year. 51 to 67, 25 to 33. 50 there for Passport America. Um, websites, address. It's like we've got a few extra pictures here. So I'll uh, see, so you can click those and get a look at what's there in the park. Close that out. The amenities and the highlights are all here. 391 sites, wow. All right. Important, here's this, like I said on the last one, here is what you're looking for, the important campground notes. Open year round, reservations required. Uh, book at rvonthego.com with code PA20. Uh, additional assistance, here's the number. Uh, Passport America discount is valid Sunday through Thursday. Not valid during July and August, and not valid during holiday, holiday weekends, or special events. Passport America is valid five nights max and on standard sites only. So, we see right here, this is a little different. It's still valid for five nights, uh, but only Sunday through Thursday. Uh, so, if you're there a Friday or a Saturday night, you're going to have to pay full price. And it's going to be standard sites only. I guess they have uh, more premium sites or whatever. Um, so you can only use the Passport America discount on standard sites. Uh, it's important when you call to make a reservation and you want to use your Passport America uh, club that you tell them, hey, we're Passport America, and they know that, th which site to assign you to. Uh, and boy, you'll get, a, you'll get directions. But see, that's a little different. Every park is different. Um, so it pays to kind of look and, and some parks only are only in one night that you can use it. So, but those parks are just fine. If you're passing through, we've definitely got our money's worth, um, for using Passport America. The, uh, one other thing that I want to cover with you on it is that they have a trip routing, um, section. This is not a, like a comprehensive, uh, trip routing thing like uh, RV Trip Wizard, and we do have an RV Trip Wizard video. I'll link. I'll put a card up for that up above. But what this is allows you to look. Um, say you're going from one place to the next. You can put that in, and it will throw up a route, and you can see all the Passport America parks that are along that route. Um, it's just a real quick, easy way to 
to see what parks might be available for you to stay at on your way or stay at when you get there. Let's just real quick we'll put in Atlanta. Let's put in Moab. Uh, I'm not going to add any additional stops. Uh, we're going to include Passport America Parks and with the distance from your route, uh, let's just move it to 20 miles. So anything within 20 miles of the route uh, that's Passport America is going to show us. This is just a disclaimer that they have up here saying this is not a comprehensive GPS routing system and, and um, you should not use it as such. So accept that. It's going to show the route. Bring up a map. So what do we, we did Atlanta to Utah. So it's going to pop up all these parks that are Passport America. So we're going to scroll out here. <clears throat> and let's see, what's this one in Colorado? Saddleback RV. So you can choose, you can look uh, if this matches up with an area you're going to be driving through at a certain time that you, you know, want, are going to want to stop. Hey, this is 13.50 a night uh, with Passport America. If we're just passing through here, okay, we really only need this for one night. Oh, let's look at that picture because that looks pretty amazing. That's a beautiful sight. Scroll down, amenities, highlights, six nights max. Uh, cannot be combined with other discount or special offer. So basically, you can stay here. It's open year round and you can stay here six nights. Um, doesn't matter if it's weekend or a holiday or anything. So, um, like I said, all the parks are different and this important Camp Brown note area is what you want to look at. Uh, <clears throat> when you become a member, you get a card in the mail as well as you're going to get a, you can, uh, elect to get a paper copy of, uh, the park directory, uh, which you can see it right kind of you can see here uh, and you'll get a book a big book that's got all the parks in it uh, that's a really handy resource to have while you're driving down the road or while you're while you, your partner's riding down the road they can look at and make phone calls as well um, there is an app uh, that you can use uh, download to your phone uh, and it tells you all the same information that's here on the website so <laughs> Passport America, definitely worth the uh, $44 a year uh, in my book. Uh, so give it a look, and uh, we hope you uh, got some good information out of this. So don't forget to subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos coming up, especially when we uh, hit the road in September uh, for our trip up to the north. Um, and thank you everyone who's already subscribed. We're going to... Uh, have a lot of great things coming, so we'll see you next time on Home on Hitch.